Support for Cinema Classics comes from Film Columbus, enriching our community to make Columbus a destination for film education, exhibition, and production. Learn more at filmcolumbus.com. Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows every Thursday at 8.01 p.m. and full shows online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Johnny DiLoretto. And this is Cinema Classics. Yes, it is. And you know, this is the year, I think, if any one actor-director, mm -hmm. it would be Bradley Cooper. And because of his growing acclaim for A Star is Born, yeah. and a body of mediocre material, <laughs> <laughs> he deserves a spot yeah. on Cinema Classics. For sure. All right. He's got an interesting, you know, he's an, he's an interesting movie star. He's a guy that strives to do good work, and yet, despite that, there are a couple of really, you know, really awful movies on his uh, resume. Um, but this guy, he's one of these guys that, like, sort of, I resisted for a long time. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to like mm -hmm. him. Uh, I didn't necessarily like his face, even. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a good-looking Robin Williams a little bit, you know? <laughs> um, but... I remember a while back, in 2011, I think it was, I saw this movie. This was at the time when I was just ignoring anything Robert De Niro did because he was just putting piece of garbage out after piece of garbage. He was in a movie with uh, De Niro called Limitless, where he gets a hold of this this drug that makes him super oh, smart I and productive. remember that, yes. And I thought, what a dumb premise, right? But it turned out to be one of these little crackerjack little B movies. <laughs> you are right. That was so much fun, and uh, he was good in it. And that's where I started to get turned around on him, uh, 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 you know, a little bit. And um, and then really when it, Silver Linings Playboy yeah. is the one that kind of made me just reevaluate who who he yeah. was. As I a think he did really well against Jennifer Lawrence. And he goes on to do another film with her, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's really where he got like my three, notice. Three, right? American Could Hustle, be. right? And then Joy, which oh, um, I forgot about Joy. Many yeah, saw that. That's right. I forgot about that strange little movie. I yeah. enjoyed it, but yeah. you know, kind of a throwback to the. But the, the, those two movies, uh, Silver Linings and American Hustle, great one-two punch. David O. Russell directed. Sure. So there's that chemistry there. Well, he had three Oscar nominations. Yeah. Out of those films. So you know he, he and he's not he's never won the Oscar. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why I find him again interesting. Now he's 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 from my alma mater. He graduated also, and the three of us share the fact that he was an English major at Georgetown. Oh wow! And, and, and you as an English major oh, I did not at know Ohio that. State, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know so, that. So you know he's if I can say that he's a smart guy, mm -hmm. um, and clearly a thoughtful guy. Uh, he's six foot one. Stranger, he doesn't look six foot one. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know why. I, yeah, I don't He's either. more. He appears more diminutive than he really is. Uh -huh. But if you see some photos of him next to other stars, you can see why. You know, he's a, he's a good height. He's got memorable blue eyes. Yeah, uh, piercing. Piercing. Yeah, I that's what they would say. say. Piercing. I knew I would, and I knew you would pick <laughs> up on that. Uh, but anyway, yes. So, I, but I think it's it's you know, when you look at the Hangover business, mm -hmm. and isn't he in the Avengers? Yeah. I, I'll, well, he's in Guardians of the Galaxy, and his voice, his vocal performance as Rocket the Raccoon yes, Rocket. He's is right. one of the highlights of his career. That performance is really funny. <laughs> it's funny you just said. He's had several voice uh, productions mm -hmm. uh, where you wouldn't even know it was he, but he does a really yeah, good what job. Else? What well, else? He has, does he do? Really yeah, um, I just love him as Rocket the Raccoon. is really good. Yes, uh, he had in Cloverfield Lane. Ah. Uh, he was the voice of Ben. Which is what? Well, it was a voiceover or something. Huh. Um, and uh, let's not forget, too, that he was nominated for one that had a combination of him and director for me, and that was American Sniper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you about that one. Yeah. You know, That's what he bulked up. Yeah. That was probably his more, one of his more intense roles. Yes, yeah. Um, I think the cliche would be compelling. Mm -hmm. uh, wasn't that a Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and a, and a weird surprise box office smash that movie. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Uh, Clint Eastwood has this weird way of like the Mule. Currently, does he? Does Bradley Cooper appear in the Mule? Yes, he does. Yeah, forgettable role. Okay, uh, as a I think an agent, an FBI agent. Okay, um, really not worth anything other than he probably wanted to work 
with and for right. Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, 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 you were talking before about Robert De Niro, and he often works with him, and he's his hero. But you know who his favorite actor is? Dude. It's always telling in community. Here in yeah, you're going classics. to tell me Jack Lemmon. That's a good choice. It's not it, but it's a good choice. His is an easy choice, Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, um, which could be everybody's. Yeah, um, and that is interesting because uh, Bradley Cooper, you could see, might aspire to that level of thespianism. Oh, Lord. But, but he, can't, right. he couldn't there's, do it. There's no way, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, that's a good, uh, a, a good one. Um, oh, here's one. Yeah. And you'll remember it better than I, but I was impressed with him, even though he was in a short time, uh, the uh, the place beyond the pines. Oh yeah, I'll tell you the truth. That boy, that that particular role rubbed me the wrong way, okay. but it wasn't his fault. So that movie, I think, uh, it's a uh, I'll mispronounce the guy's name, uh, Derek Chinoff Ray or something. The director. Okay. Um, he's the guy that directed Blue Valentine with Ryan Gosling. And in A Place Beyond the Pines, it's that, you know, it's that dichotomy of a movie, right? Where the, the first half of it is Ryan Gosling's story. Yes. And then the second half of it is Bradley Cooper's That's story. That's right. And you know what a big contrast Ryan, Ryan Gosling fan is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the contrast. And the guy you already set up the contrast. Just so, Ryan Gosling is so good. Yes. So powerful. Yes. And that first half of that movie. Bradley Cooper is just like... It just falls flat. He's got to carry this second half of this boring procedural type, you know. It's not a procedural. That's wrong. But it's just it just falls flat, you know. It's like a souffle that kind of... Well, I don't think he has an incredible range uh, as an actor. I just think he's... I think he's a guy who brings I mean, do you his think own Ryan charisma. Gosling does? Oh, yes. Yeah. You do? What? Do you think... You think Ryan Gosling's range is is wider than Bradley Cooper's? Yes, really. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm surprised. If I look that. at, say, La La Land, mm -hmm. I think that's a breakthrough. But for isn't him. that just Ryan Gosling dancing and singing? Well, but don't you think that's a stretch for a guy who was what a driver or whatever? Was well, this guy's playing guitar and singing in front of that's a? That's a good point. A, that's an arena. Exactly why I think we need to pay attention to him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, that's that's why we're such a good team. Yes, right. You do. You are. You hit my point exactly. See, this Nothing. guy's doing voices for cartoons. Yes, I stuff. know. I don't know that their range is is that different, but all I know is Ryan Gosling is just more of a movie star type. Okay. You know, like yeah. where he's where almost anything he does is kind of mesmerizing. Yeah. And so when he, Bradley Cooper has to follow that, it's a struggle. And you know what, also, that <clears throat> if you think about the difference between him and Gosling, is that Gosling, I don't think, has attached himself to a franchise. No, yeah, you're right. And, and Well, Blade Runner now, I mean, if you consider well, that. Well, but, but it's when you think about The Hangover and so on with Bradley Cooper, yeah, which I end the, um, the, the Avengers kind of thing mm, that we were Guardians talking about. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that's where he's really smart. Of course, he's enhancing his bankroll yeah. with doing that, and not necessarily compromising his right because he's not on screen. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's he's unobtrusive smart, in these. Right. Yeah, and that's what. And but Gosling doesn't need it. I mean, when they get to the level that where they are, they don't need it. I know. Yeah, you know, they don't need the money. I would like to see. Well, see, I don't know. Now, now I want to see these guys in a movie together. <laughs> Good, you know, Good. on screen together, not like following one another. It almost sounded like we were doing a, another one of our mashups. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird mashup. Show. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, I think that that's enough discussion for Bradley Cooper. Do you? Do you? Yeah. You just arrive at that decision. <laughs> Is that just an executive decision? Yeah. We're done now. I just talking about Bradley I just, Cooper. That's all there is. Is that? Is that? I think he's too young. That's not. I don't think there is. I think this guy has really laid out. A, yeah, I think we're midway. Obviously, yes. right? He, there's so much more to see from him. Yes. I hope that he fulfills the promise of this directorial success yes, that he's me had. Too. You know, but that's that's not always the case. No. You know, uh, Kevin Costner. Sort of in Bradley Cooper's position when he directed Dances yeah. with Wolves. Uh, he never really fulfilled that yeah. promise as a director. But here's a guy who's looking ahead. One of his dreams on his bucket list for Bradley Cooper mm -hmm. 
is to get his PhD in English and teach mm. English literature. Mm, that's fabulous. <laughs> Talk about range. <laughs> <clears throat>